take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. According to microbiologic testing, up to 25% of honey products have been found to contain spores. 11A history of honey consumption is seen in 15% of the botulism cases reported to the CDC. 5, 12 as a result, honey should not be given to infants younger than one year. Take our lead. Infant botulism causes muscle weakness, which can lead to difficulty eating and breathing. If doctors catch infant botulism early, they can successfully treat it with no long-term ill effects for the child. Let's help you make your mark. Honey can contain the bacteria that causes infant botulism, so do not feed honey to children younger than 12 months. Honey is safe for people one year of age and older. Learn more about infant botulism from the Infant Botulism Treatment and Prevention Program. Let's help you make your mark. Pasteurization does not kill C. botulinum, so both pasteurized and unpasteurized honey must be avoided. Can I give my older child honey? After 12 months of age, a healthy child's tummy is mature enough that they can have honey without causing harm. Let's help you make your mark. Patients with infant botulism may present with some or all the following signs and symptoms. Constipation, poor feeding, tosses, sluggish pupils, flattened facial expression, diminished suck and gag reflexes, weak and altered cry, respiratory difficulty and possibly respiratory arrest. Take our lead. If infant botulism is related to food, such as honey, problems generally begin within 18 to 36 hours after the toxin enters the baby's body. Signs and symptoms include constipation, which is often the first sign. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.